What's going on everyone, this is BLN427 here, back again with another MLB The Show video. Today, we're going to be playing Battle Royale. Once again, if you guys haven't watched my last BR run, I got knocked out. Ted Williams absolutely destroyed me. But today, we're going to be doing another BR run. I didn't draft this team, or I didn't record the draft for this team. And we ended up taking a loss due to a disconnect. But this is pretty much the team right here. This is the team that we're going to be facing, the Brooklyn No Doubt crew. But this is the team that I drafted. For one and one, one guy quit, but the other, you know, loss was a disconnect, like I said once again. So we're looking to get to two and one and try to win this ball game. He's 0 and 0. I'm obviously 5 and 4. I've had a rough start to this new season, but it's all right because we have Cal Ripken Jr. here in BR. This isn't head-to-head -head seasons, and this guy quits. Ah, <sighs> whoa, that uh, that sucks. But that's not going to end here. Let's get on to another game. All right, so we're going to be playing the Bronx Bombers. He has Johnny Damon, Starling Castro, Luis Gonzalez, Brandon Belt, Derek Norris, Jason Hayward, Jake Lamb, Devin Travis, and Luis Severino on the mound. Once again, didn't want to end that video with a guy quitting. That just sucks. That's not fair to you guys. You guys should get to enjoy me winning or losing a game the right way. So we're going to play one more game, and we're going to play them against the Bronx Bombers, and let's hope that we can get a huge win here. We have Johnny Damon up to bat, and more known for his time with the Red Sox in that 0-4 team, where he hit that huge grand slam in Game 7 that put the game pretty much out of reach, if it wasn't out of reach already, but pretty much the, the complete dagger. But now he gets a base hit, and we have Starling Castro up to bat, so let's see if we can get a huge pop-up here. And that's going to be a pop-up right to... Ramirez, and that's out number one. So we got Luis Gonzalez up to bat now. 2-1 count to Gonzalez. And another pop-up right to the second baseman. Johnny Damon's going to stay at first base. And that's out number two. So now we've got Brandon Belt. So 0-1 count to Brandon Belt. Let's see if we can get another huge out here. Here's the pitch, here's the throw, and that's going to be right for, that's Cal Ripken. I was going to say Buddy Bell, I keep thinking that this is ranked seasons, but it's Cal Ripken Jr., and that's going to end the inning. So now we've got Cal Ripken Jr. up to bat. And fun fact about Damon and that, uh, or that game really, not really Damon, because I hate Damon for that grand slam, even though he ended up becoming a Yankee. Javier Vasquez gave up probably the worst, or I wouldn't say he gave up probably the worst game in, in in postseason history by with his performance, but it's up there with one of the worst performances in a postseason game of all time. He ended up rejoining the Yankees, I believe, in like the 0-10, oh, Jesus, 0-10, oh, the 2010 season, or the 2011 season, I can't remember, as it's a ground ball to the second baseman, but he overthrows it, and Cal Ripken Jr. is going to be safe, wow. Good job there by Cal Ripken Jr. Now we have Yasiel Puig up to bat, looking to get a huge base hit, and that's a slider. For a 1-0 count, looking to get another pitch to hit here. Hopefully this time he leaves it in the zone. That's his either outside of the zone. Two sliders, not not in particularly what I want, but I swung at it anyways. And that's going to be a base hit by Yasiel Puig. And the right fielder goes the wrong way. And Cal Ripken Jr. is going to go to third base, and Yasiel Puig is going to go to second. Okay. I was completely frozen there because I was trying to pay attention to what was going on. Now we have Gary Sanchez up to bat after I choked with Dustin Pedroia and... Ken Griffey Jr. with runners on second and third with no outs. I'm glad that I got a run there with Gary Sanchez. So here we are on the top of the first, second inning. We have Fergie Jenkins on the mound. And that's going to be a weak ground ball to Pedroia. He bare hands it, and that's going to be a good out, a huge out there for us. But a great play by, excuse me, <clears throat> by Dustin Pedroia. I'm still trying to get rid of this code. I can't believe I have this code like two weeks later. This lingering kind of like cough which sucks all right wanted to make sure that i saw hayward's stats see how he hits against righties be careful with him is what i can see so we left that slider way out of the zone let's use the fork ball we haven't used that fork ball let's see if we can get him out with, some, with the fork ball okay so that was outside of the zone let's try the fork ball again i'm not going to give up on that pitch that pitch can be nasty oh my god look at that movement did you guys see the movement on that fork ball he definitely is lost now if I throw it again, it's definitely going to work. God, that movement on that fork ball is just tough. But that's a ground ball to the second baseman, and that's going to be out number two to Petey. Dustin Pedroia. Now he has Rake Lamb up to bat. He hits righties really, really well, so i got to be careful. Even 
even if I don't want to take Fergie out of this game, I'm going to have to be really, really careful. And if I do, then I'm just going to have to bring in a lefty, but he can still hit. But we're going to try to get him out with the fork ball. That's the huge trick, or that's the huge thing that I'm trying to go for, and that's going to be a base hit. So maybe I should have taken Fergie Jenkins out of this game. Yeah, that probably wasn't smart. Okay, well, that's a double. So now we have two outs to Devin Travis. We're going to try to get Devin Travis out. And Frey, first pitch, swinging. And he's going to pop up that ball to the second baseman, Pedroia. And that's going to end that inning. So now we are in the top of the third inning. And we have Dylan Batantis on the mound. He is my closer. And he is going to do a damn good job of being my closer. Now we have Johnny Damon up again. Going high and in fastball. Actually, let's not go high and in. Let's just go inside. And that's low and inside. Okay, well, I wanted it inside, but it went low and inside. I'm not even going to complain. Still a tough pitch to hit. Inside fastball again. Good timing there. So let's see if he has good timing on the high and in fastball. Okay, he has good timing on the high and in fastball. So let's throw something that's not a fastball. All right, now we throw that slurve. Even though he doesn't really have a slurve in real life. He has a 12 to 6 curveball. So I don't understand why they give him a slurve. But it's whatever. I'm not going to complain. As Pajori gets another pop up there. How many pop ups has Pajori play, uh, played uh, so far in this game, or at least caught this game? Like about what, three or four? I haven't been paying attention. But we have Stalin Castro to up to bat, so let's focus on that. Forget about the pop ups. Let's just try to get a huge out here. We're only up by one run. Don't really do well with one run leads, but we have probably one of the best relievers in the game in Dylan Batances. And he's already got two strikes on Starling Castro. And that's another pop-up to Pedroia. And that's going to end the ball game. Well, that was a very fun pop-up session. But that's going to do it. As I can see, this guy is very... Uh, this guy's logo is very immature. <laughs> well, I can say that's how bad he played in this game with all those pop-ups. Get it, guys? What a terrible joke. Anyways, we got three wins. We got three wins. That's all that matters. That's all I care about. And if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about maybe that logo or just any of the nonsense that you guys just saw. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with all of your friends. And I will see you guys in the next one.